Troy here at Brushfire. Today we're going to be covering Brushfire online platform and how to get started there. One thing to note is that you must have a Brushfire account um, and a Brushfire dashboard in order to create that virtual or online platform. To do that, just go to brushfire.com and you can click get started. We also do have a Brushfire getting started video you may want to check out. Once that's done, you'll receive an invitation to create the online dashboard. And um, here's what that looks like. So really quickly, I wanna talk about the hierarchy of how the videos um, are organized and how that looks. So here we have content. When we say content, that just means video. Um, so um, the way that that's organized though is within channels. Let's say you have a conference. Um, we might have one channel that's main sessions. That's got five videos or five pieces of content. We might have one channel that's breakout classes. That's got 10 different videos. So um, here's where you would create a channel. Here's where you will create that content to be added to the channel. And again, there are, there are three different ways that that content can get added. Number one is live, it's happening real time. Number two and three, kind of two sides to the same coin, sim live and on demand. Technically, they're both on demand videos. Um, on demand, people can just click on any point and just start watching whenever. Sim live, uh, you'll actually schedule that on demand to happen um, at some point in the future and people can't rewind or fast forward or jump in early. So it feels live, but you've actually pre-recorded it. Last thing I wanna go to is um, our help page. If we go to Brushfire Online within help, there is a ton of valuable content, frequently asked questions, topical articles, so definitely, definitely check this out as you're getting started. But as always, we are here to help as well. So feel free to reach out anytime. Have a good one.